fighting for the title every player dreams of. There will be only one winner, Betfred. Proud sponsors of the World Snooker Championship. Well, the last man standing tonight is none other than Kurt Mafflin. He has booked himself a crucible debut after an epic encounter with Fergal O'Brien. Kurt, many congratulations. What a weird match. You start 6-3 down, you smash six frames in a row, you know, to go right on the verge of victory, then you let him back in and then such a tense decider. Yeah, it was a real funny match. I mean, Fergal played excellent yesterday. I think he might have missed two balls in the nine frames, you know, and uh, good safety. His, his potting was good. Everything was good. So 6-3. Didn't feel too bad about it. And then uh, basically done the same thing to him today. The first six frames I played really well, scored quite heavy. 9-6 up. I'm thinking, yeah, this is fantastic. And uh, all of a sudden he's, he's just clawed his way back to nine each and looked like he was going to win the last frame, really. But Mr. Green would arrest and, and give me a chance. It, it was obviously an exhausting encounter. What are your initial reflections on on making it through to the to the big stage? You're you're, you're in with a shout. You're there with yeah. 31 other, you know, tremendous players. The, the history, the prestige, and you're going to be part of it. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's a dream. You know, everybody wants to play at the Crucible. Everyone wants to lift that trophy. So. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm really happy about it. I think it was a deserved win. You know, I've played, played, I've played some good snooker now the last few weeks with, with Beijing and, and here. So I felt good coming here this week. And uh, hopefully I can just get a few days off now and, you know, do a bit of practice and, and that'll be me. I'll be looking forward to it. Well, your, yours has been an extraordinary journey in the sport. You know, you walked away for a couple of years and then, then comes a backer and the legend goes, if you get a century in this next match, then I'll think about sponsoring you and... You smash one in the first frame. It's, it hasn't all been easy street for you, has it? You've really had to work at this. Yeah, it hasn't been easy. You know, it's, uh, partly to blame for myself as well, taking it a bit too easy, not practicing as good a, enough as I should, and you know that that sort of stuff. But yeah, it's been it's been a roller coaster ride. I've been up and off the tour five times, I think, up and down from the tour. You know, I don't think anyone else has done that. Uh, so hopefully this this time round is the the time to stick about and try and win some trophies. Yeah. So there must have been a time during your ups and downs and in your relationship with snooker there must have come a time where you thought that your opportunity to be introduced in front of a packed crowd at the crucible live on the bbc and eurosport might never come your way it was definitely diminishing you know a few years ago it was definitely you know i weren't sure what i was thinking really i was just uh maybe just going through the motions in a way uh even though I, you know i flew up the rankings a little bit i think i jumped 30 40 places that you know two years ago or whatever but, you know, with the money money system the way it is now, you can quickly sort of jump and you can quickly sort of fall. So it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't say much what you're doing. But, uh, no, I mean, just, just glad, just glad to get through and glad to have a chance, you know. And what's your approach now? Are you Have you got anyone in particular that you'd love to play that you want to avoid? Or are you are you quite happy what, whatever happens with the magic of the balls at, at you know, half past ten tomorrow for the draw? Yeah, I'm all for the draw. I, it really doesn't matter, you know. I'd love. Obviously, there's, there's there's a few players you'd love to play. Everyone wants to play Ronnie, you know. Uh, yeah, I just look forward to whoever play. It really doesn't matter. I'll take. I'll, I'll approach that game exactly the same I've approached the games this week. So you just see, uh, just see what happens. So, will you be heading back to Norway, or is this you here now, and you're just going to try and get as much rest as possible? Yeah, that's just me now. I'm going to drive back to London now uh, tonight and uh, start practicing again tomorrow, and then. Uh, but light practice tomorrow, nothing too heavy. You know, Fergal, Fergal can really tie you out. So, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing too hectic tomorrow. Just a few hours and, and get some rest. Well, we, uh, we hope if you're up in time for the draw, then, and then tune in. It's half past ten live on the World Snooker YouTube page. So you're in it. So congratulations. We'll, uh, the next time we see you, there'll be 850-odd people in the crowd, you know, giving you a huge reception because they're really good at the Crucible. I've said this to the other three debutants who've won their, won their right to, uh, to come out in front, in front of the Crucible crowd for the first time. They're really knowledgeable and really passionate and they give debutants a massive, massive reception. So it'll be a moment you won't forget. No, I look forward to that. Thanks, Rob. Cheers.